Good morning everyone. Welcome to Il Paraiso. Once again, this is Doc Del. And this morning, we are going to discuss the reasons why we are going to experience bad blast. But before that, for those who are new to this channel, I want you to subscribe and then hit the notification bell so that if I have new videos relating to growing and cultivating orchids, you will be updated. The first reason why we are experiencing a bad blast because of sudden change of environment. So when we talk about sudden change of environment, one of a very good example uh, on this issue is the transferring of plants from one place to another. So that's why if uh, the plants are bearing spike or a stem flower, we should have to avoid transferring the plants from one place to another so that this could be able to avoid bud blast or falling the flowers okay so another thing is a uh, shipment no so when we are going to order uh, an orchid coming from a uh, what they call this one coming from a far places or far location this is also one of the reasons why our orchids will be experiencing a bad blast especially if you are ordering a flowering size orchid or a spiking orchid um, this could be the reason why the orchid or the flower of the orchid will not continue to bloom okay so come to think of it if you are going to order an orchid coming from a very far location or places it is good to order a blooming size orchid because somehow that could also the reason why flowers could be able to experience a setback so when you are going to order a flower coming from a very far location so when this arrived in your place this will now be able to experience a bad blast so because of this flowers will lead to achieve more years or more months for them to be able to bear flowers again. The second reason why we are experiencing a bud blast or falling of buds is pest infestation. That means to say that the flowers, they don't have a strong protection against from insects or pests that could lead to the destruction of its flowers for example the trips mealybugs and uphead so uh, this time it is advisable for us to take good care of the flowers especially during the time that the orchids they are now starting to bear spike so with this condition the orchids are very prone or the spike of the orchids are very prone to insects Insects will be able to get nutrients from the buds. That's why they need to eat the buds and this can cause destruction of the buds. So for us to be able to have a strong protection against this uh, pest no, of our orchids, we need to have or we need to apply pesticides. We need to apply fungicides so that they could be able to continue uh, they could be able to continue to grow and they could be able to bloom or the orchids will be able to um, continue to bloom its flowers okay so there are many pesticides or there are many techniques on how are we going to uh, protect our spike from pests so we could be able to read some literatures, we could be able to get some experiences of um, seasoned orchid growers, we could be able to have literatures coming from the YouTube so that we could be able to protect the 
buds of the orchids. The third reason why our orchids are experiencing a bud blast because of stress. So when we talk about stress, there are so many environmental stress that could lead to our orchids experience of not continuing its spike to bloom. So when we talk about this, one good example of this is on water stress. Always remember this, that orchids, they need to have an ample or enough amount of water so that they could be able to survive. However, there are cases that orchids will experience dehydration. Dehydration is one of the reason why our orchids are experiencing bad blast. Okay, so dehydration means to say lacking of water. However, too much exposure of water also on our orchids that could also lead to bad blast. That's why when the orchids or when the orchids are having spikes or a steam flower, we should have to avoid uh, putting or uh, we should have to avoid uh, putting water to the spike or every time that we are going to spray, every time that we are going to apply water to our orchids, we should have to avoid that the spikes will not be included in watering. Because sometimes water will go into the buds and that could lead to the buds to experience rot or buds rot. Okay, so make sure that when you are going to water the orchids only or includes include only the leaves and then the roots. And make sure that the orchids will be able to receive an enough amount of water so that this orchid will survive and we could be able to avoid experiencing bad blast. Or when we talk about bad blast, ito ang hindi pagtuloy ng flower hanggang sa ito ay mag-bloom. The next reason why we are experiencing bad blast on our orchids are the diseases. So when we talk about diseases, so these are the reasons why our orchids now could have be able to have this what we call crown rot or it could be left rot or this what we call root rot. Okay, so make sure that you are going to Take good care properly of your orchids so that this could not be able to be affected by different diseases. So there are also literatures, there are also uh, experiences that we could be able to uh, or be our guide in growing and cultivating orchids so that we will be guided in Growing and cultivating orchids. Always remember this that uh, growing orchids is not an easy thing. We should have to be able to consider many things. We, could, we should have to consider many factors so that we could be able to be successful in taking good care of our orchids. We could be able to be successful in growing and cultivating orchids. So that's why... Every now and then, we should have to check the leaves, the roots, the crown of our orchids so that um, sa madaling panahon, we could be able to provide them or we could be able to treat them if they are now experiencing diseases. Okay, so it is easy to detect if our orchids are uh, affected by a disease because... It could be seen through their leaves, it could be seen through the roots, and it could be seen through the physical condition of our orchids. And lastly, is on additives containing plant hormone. 
So, make sure that you could be able to apply the correct amount of fertilizers to your orchids. There are um, orchid hormone or vitamins that could also destroy the buds of our orchids. Okay. So, when we talk about additives, so these are the added uh, ingredients or added nutrients to your orchid. So, when you are going to apply a fertilizer, uh, it doesn't mean that the orchids is now bearing flowers, you will now stop applying a fertilizer. Always remember this, that orchids are like pregnant women. So, if the woman is pregnant, there is a need for us to provide good nutrients so that the baby will be able to be strong and healthy inside her womb. So, consider that the flowers that are now bearing spike, they are like pregnant women. So, meaning to say, even the orchids no, are bearing, uh, bearing flowers, do not stop giving them nutrients because during that time, that is a dire necessity of an orchid for them to be able to continue their blooms healthy and good. Okay, however, there are cases that we are adding an additive to our orchids that could cause the leaf fall, the flowers fall. So that's why we should have to make sure and be guided in the application of fertilizers or feeding our orchids. So if we want that our orchids could be able to bear a healthy spike, then we should have to be guided in the application of the fertilizer. So, during this time, rooting hormone is not good for our orchids. So, uh, do not always apply a rooting hormone, especially if the orchids are having an excellent rooting system because that could cause, no, that could cause bad blast. So, make sure that when you are going to apply or add a rooting hormone or plant hormone, when you are going to apply a fertilizer, make sure that this could not harm your orchids. Especially the orchids are uh, very delicate to take good care. And of course, it is not easy, no? Taking an orchids is not an easy job. So that's why make sure that everything that you are doing to your orchids are right. So, meaning, when the orchids is having a spike, please do not uh, apply or add additives to your fertilizers that could harm the spike of the orchids. Okay. So, meaning to say, you should have to be wise, no? You should have to be wise in taking good care of your orchids. It is good to apply or it is good to give or provide nutrients on the orchids when they are in the blooming condition. However, make sure that plant hormone will not be added on them because that could cause bad blast to our orchids. I hope that you learned a lot this morning and I hope that you are now guided in taking good care of your orchids. Thank you so much for watching. God bless. Bye-bye. And stay safe always.